Hey, what's going on everybody? Birdie here with another Race Shadow Legends video. Today we're going to talk about how to quickly and efficiently progress your account when you first start the game. So in the beginning of the game, you're given a choice of four starters. That's Kale, Aethel, Elhain, and Gaelic. Um, Kale is definitely the best starter. He has poisons, and poisons scale extremely well in the endgame, and are also very useful on the clan boss, and I highly recommend starting with Kale. So when you first are given control of your account, you can go into your champions and on um, unlock and uh, lock kale and you can also go here and change your avatar and uh, change your name connect your account to facebook things like that and then click here on the quests tab and collect your achievements this is going to give you a level or two all right quick easy way to uh to progress your account real, real quick and then uh here you have quests daily quests that you can do every day weekly quests uh that you can complete once a week and monthly quests that you can complete once a month and after you complete all the quests for each section you get uh you get extra rewards there's also missions that you can progress as you're playing the game but we'll kind of cover that as we are playing so let's go ahead and um click on the clan here and okay so see here if you, if you can find a clan that you can just join without a without an without having to apply join it there's no reason not to join a clan right away so that way you can start practicing on your clan boss and things like that plus you also get extra rewards for logging in and you can start communicating with the people in your clan and in the community so once we join the clan here if you can find one if not you can just kind of keep checking the tab we can just go ahead and continue on with the campaign we didn't equip anything uh, on Kale extra than uh, what the game makes you equip in the beginning. Uh, we can kind of get through the first chapter here and then uh, you're going to get some gear at the end and we're going to equip that and upgrade it. And that's also going to progress the missions. The missions that uh, that we showed earlier. So here you, you click it on times two and click it on auto. So that way the, the game kind of just runs itself. There's really no reason to control it here. The, the AI will be able to... Uh, to complete the campaign no no problem there's really not much that you can do differently on manual to make your run that much better so just run it on auto to make it faster or if you really do enjoy playing it on manual play it on manual you could technically do it however you want to but i do recommend play, uh putting it on times two at least so that way the animations are faster Don't worry about anyone dying and whatnot. You're probably going to be going through these uh, chapters again because there's some missions and stuff that you can complete uh, because it requires farming, farming specific gear and whatnot. So each of these chapters can drop champions. Some are common, some are uh, uncommon, and some are rare. This Valerie champion is actually decently uh, is decently good. So yeah, we're just going to continue going through the campaign here. Uh, we're going to slot him in here because we want to level food as fast as possible. So pretty much uncommons and commons are food. And you level them up as you progress through the campaign. And then when you get a level 20, when you get a 2-star to level 20, you can then use two other 2-stars to make him 3-star. When your Kale, your starter, is level 30, because he's 3-star, he, he can reach level 30, you'll have to feed him three three stars to make him rank four or, th or or four star so you can level him to level 40 and that's honestly the most important thing that you can do take your starter and level him as fast as you possibly can uh to level 60. a level 60 is the max and when you have a level 60 champion you will be able to progress your game um a lot easier than you could with if you had like multiple 50s or something i see a lot of people making mistakes of uh not being able to decide who they want a six star and they just make a lot of level 50s and they're using them and they're not able to progress and the reason for that is because you need to make a 60 as soon as you possibly can all right and here's the chapter one boss we're gonna own him real quick
so yeah like i said when you beat this boss you're gonna get some gear and we're gonna go upgrade it i'm gonna show you guys how to do that the game kind of shows you in the beginning but i think right now we can only upgrade to plus eight you are as you level able to upgrade to plus 16. do not take your uh, bad items like three star items and whatnot unless um to plus 16 because you're going to be upgrading you're going to be getting better star items quickly and it takes a lot of silver to go from plus 12 to plus 16 so i would i would definitely be careful of what you upgrade in the beginning of the game so here are the rewards from chapter one a champion uh this healer war priest is actually decent and then we have some attack here so from here let's click on champions and we're going to equip kale with our new gear crit rate and speed crit rate and crit damage we're gonna go with this one and we're gonna go with these gloves these boots oh accuracy and hit points this is speedy okay we're definitely gonna go with that one and then this one let's go ahead and upgrade this and um, so the way you upgrade you can upgrade one by one right here like so if if it fails it'll reset itself or you could just set it to upgrade to plus eight so we're going to go ahead and upgrade all the all the gear on kale to plus eight and come back because there's really no need for you to guys uh, for you guys to watch this okay so we upgraded all the gear we equipped sniper with a couple of um attack pieces and then uh, earlier i forgot to mention here we have a uh, daily login rewards i have created an account a couple of days ago so i collected these but i didn't really play um as you guys can see all my guys were as uh, uh level two or whatever they are uh, when you first start the game and over here along with the daily uh, daily quests there's daily login or daily playtime rewards so pretty much you just get these rewards for being logged in for a certain amount of time every single day so another thing that we unlocked here is the battle pass the battle pass has a crazy amount of rewards uh if you want to purchase it you can you, you can purchase the whole thing or you can do daily challenges uh every single day and um you get points and progress the battle pass that way um you can get a you can miss about five or so days i think so at this point i think we're already almost a week into it so if you start now you could probably get all the rewards but but i don't think uh i don't think if you start, start much later than this and you stay free to play that you will be able to uh, that you'll be able to complete this um so it is probably worth to buy the gold pass if you start late and you want to uh and you want to get all of this stuff because this the, the battle pass is definitely very very good and very worth it all right, so um, we cleared uh, stage seven on normal. That was the first chapter. We equipped Kale with all the artifacts and we upgraded them. And now we're going to go ahead and progress and progress the campaign further. I didn't equip War Priest with anything because we're going to get a set of life armor. That we're going to put on her because that's going to complete the quest for us or that mission so kale is much stronger now so this is going to be much uh much easier or faster or whatever you want to call it artifacts are definitely very very important uh that attack gear ro all all rolls the same every time i'm pretty sure you get crit rate glove speed boots attack percentage body and that's pretty much what you're going to want on Kale, except in Lifesteal, as you're progressing through the campaign. Uh, you can farm Lifesteal in Chapter 8, I believe. Pretty much when you're having trouble surviving, Tavern Unlocked, you can upgrade your champions and that and stuff. We're, we're going to show that later, how to upgrade your champions and things like that. that that's pretty much where you do the stuff that i was talking about earlier where you rank up your two stars and your three stars and, st and stuff like that you can also use brews that you get through tournaments and uh, events and stuff like that you can use brews to quickly level up your champions uh i can actually show that right now because we this is the talent you can sacrifice weak 
Taking XP, blah, blah, blah. You can read that if you want to, but I kind of already explained it. I kind of already explained it. Alright, so you have Kale here, and we got four four brews when we first logged in. So we're going to go ahead and use those to level him up real quick. And then uh, let's continue the campaign. So now that we leveled him up, he's much stronger, and this is going to be once again faster. Speed is key. You want to get through this part as, as fast as you can, and honestly, you're going to get stuck at one point, and when you get stuck, it's going to be a grind for food to rank up your champion, to rank up your starter. Unless you pull something crazy out of a blue shard. So we got that one blue shard from from the raid pass and I got one from uh, creating the account a couple of days ago so we'll probably summon those uh, when the mission comes up to summon a couple of shards we'll summon those and we'll summon the mystery see what we can get I'm not going to be buying anything on this account so I'm going to be pay playing a free to play obviously if you're not playing free to play you're going to be able to progress uh, progress a lot a lot faster Getting chickens and gear stats in the beginning, in the beginning, in the beginning of the game can be very, uh, very good if you get lucky with the gear sets, because you're not going to be able to get five star and six star gear for for a pretty long time. But it is RNG buying that gear, so a lot of the time it's not going to work out well for you. So I could recommend only buying gear if you're going to be spending a good amount of money on the game and. Pretty much, money is really of no object, you know? Alright, so now we got that life set that I was talking about. At last. Chapter 3. Alright, we can exit and go complete those missions. You earned it, now claim it back. Equip a rare support type champion, and we're going to upgrade this stuff as well. So we're going to equip her, equip her with these uh, artifacts. And then uh, we're going to upgrade them. Uh, once again, uh, you guys don't have to watch the upgrade. I will do that off camera. Okay, so we upgraded the gear to plus four. We can go ahead and complete this mission here. And this one. And then use four XP boosts at the tavern. We can use that on Kale again. Summon five champions from mystery shards. We can pop ten. All right. And now we have to do a clear stage one or higher of the arcane keep. So we can go in here. And this is where all the dungeons are. All of them are unlocked in the beginning for, I think, seven days. So I started the account a little while ago. And uh, some of the days have already expired. Uh, you also unlock a tournament here. When you, uh, when you, I think when you first upgrade Kale's, um, Kale. And you progress this tournament pretty much but just by progressing in the game. So we're going to get tournament points by... Uh, doing dungeon levels, doing campaign levels, all that good stuff. So, since we have a mission to do the Arcane Keep, we're going to go ahead and run it. Just run some stuff for food here. Kale can solo this, no problem. Uh, we're also going to have... Um, the, the game also has challenges, and uh, we're going to show those next. It's anything from summoning champions, progressing in the arena, getting specific gear from the campaign, um, ranking up champions, things like that. It's definitely good to progress all that stuff because any rewards that you can get in the beginning of the game are welcome, especially uh, skill books, potions, things like that. All right. We clear stage one, and now we... Now the next mission is to progress the campaign. Uh, we can go ahead and summon these two ancient shards, see if we can get something good. 
and a rare cataphract not very good and another rare another kale actually that's not bad we're probably going to be using both of them not gonna lie kale is that good okay so i can go ahead and show challenges here so here's summon a spirit champion summon a force champion equip a support type with hit point sets we we did that already for uh for the mission so we can uh progress that as well and then for artifacts here win three weapons from clearing stage one of Kara castle so this is farming the first chapter for certain pe uh, pieces of gear and uh if you progress this you'll get a skill book which is good because you want that for kale <clears throat> collect our energy quests dungeons unlocked skip all right it's bombarding us with offers here double xp we'll take it and uh let's go ahead and progress more campaign all right so we'll level her we'll level her we'll level her and i want to level kale but we also want food so i think i'm going to use food Uh, definitely don't feed on your second kale. Because um, he, he, uh, he's a very good champion. And there's a very low chance that you're going to summon something that, that's better than him. So I would just keep two of them. And there's a good possibility that both of them will be used and can help you out. Not at this current stage. Right now, like I said, I think you should level food. But as you progress and get stuck, a level 50 Kale might help you out once you already have a 60 Kale. And that is, once again, if you do not pull something different and better. You can also increase your experience by purchasing a raid pass monthly. I think it's $10 a month, or you could buy it for six months. And... Uh, that will also increase your experience and silver gain. If you're gonna, if you're going to play the game for a long time, it is worth it. All right, we unlocked an arena, but we're not really ready for that yet. Also, also over here, you have a gem mine. It caught. There's three tiers of it, 500 each to unlock it. And so 1,500 gems total. If you plan on playing for 100 days, you get 15 gems a day if you do that. If you plan on playing for 100 days, you will get your gems back. And then after that, start generating 15 gems a day after that. So if you really like the game and you plan on playing it for a long time, I would recommend unlocking the gem mine. The sparring pit, on the other hand, however, is not, is not that good. And if you're not a whale and you're going to have a bunch of gems, I don't recommend buying this. I personally... I have a decent amount of gems and I still haven't unlocked this. I really don't use it and I don't think that it's worth it. Let's go ahead and continue progress in the campaign here. At this point, your goal is to get Kale to level 30 and then rank him up to four star. It'd be nice if we can get like a a bad champion drop, a rare champion drop from from the campaign so that way we can sacrifice them and have uh, one food a lot faster. Getting Kale to 40 here will will help you through the campaign a lot. When we get stuck in the campaign, we'll start doing some uh, keeps and stuff. We'll ascend Kale. <clears throat> you pretty much want to progress the campaign as far as you can. And then when you get stuck, you want to make your character stronger. Don't waste your, waste your times on early level dungeons for gear and such. Um, it is definitely not worth the energy, uh, but we'll definitely uh, we'll be covering dungeons a little bit later down the road. It's definitely too early for that. I'm probably already overwhelming new uh, new players. 
Alright, we finished another chapter here. We got a skill book. And another skill book, progress our mission. Upgrade a rare attack type champion skill with the skill tone. Okay. We can do that in the tavern. Upgrade skills. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, you can upgrade skills with books. Do not use epic or legendary books on rare champions. Use rare books on rare champions, epic books on epic champions, legendary books on legendary champions. You can go ahead and fully use all these books. You you want to max out Kale. Alright, would have been nice to land uh, A2, but like I said, you're going to max him out, so it doesn't really matter. Get a referral link. You can just click that. And then fight in the arena three times. I don't think we can win arena batch, uh, matches right now. But we actually can. Look. People have bad defenses. You can go ahead and set Kale. There we go. And now we can do three arena matches. Just find one. Uh, one person here that you can kill. It shouldn't be too difficult at this point in the game. Alright. And level 40. Four stars. We could try this one, but we might not be able to win. Oh no. Kale used the wrong move. Alright, well, we could try that again and not run it on auto. Oh. Same outcome. So yeah, we're definitely not strong enough, just like I thought. So here you go, you can see me losing, so that way you, you don't have to be discouraged when you probably do as well. But we progressed our mission, which is all that really matters right now. Unlock a mastery for any champion, and you can just go ahead and unlock a mastery for Kale, like so, and progress that mission as well. Clear stage one or higher of the Minotaur's Labyrinth. We can do that. This is where you get the scrolls. I wouldn't recommend farming scrolls too much from now. Kind of just progress, progress the missions. And continue with the campaign. Man, you if you're not paying gems for your masteries, which is now an option. It wasn't an option when I started playing the game. Mastering your first team is going to take a really long time. And it's pretty much like the breaking point in the game. Once you get your masteries on your first team, you're going to be much stronger and you're going to be, you're going to be able to progress. But it takes forever. It is absolutely awful. Alright, we completed our dailies. We completed our challenge. Collect all this stuff as you go. And what's the mission? Okay, we have to do it one more time. I think we can do stage two. I think it's at one or higher, maybe. And as you progress these uh, labyrinths and keeps and all that stuff, like I said before, you're going to be getting tournament points. And you want to win pretty much every tournament that you can because every any free reward that you can get for just playing the game is worth it. On every stage of Carrot Castle. So now I want you to three-star this. Oh, we are going to continue progress here. To gain after the SOE button. Mm -hmm. 
Well, actually, we can go ahead and three-star that mission. Why not? Actually, we'll be able to do it with her. And then we'll use Spirit Host for uh, the third one. Restarting the missions is also nice. Oh wait, you have to use you have to use two champions to three star missions. Don't be bad like me. And use two champions. None of this is really a waste because we are getting experience. So even if you mess up like I just did, it doesn't really matter. Last one. Wrecking this boss. <laughs> Alright, so three starting missions get you rewards here. Definitely do it. More energy. Win one of each type of life artifact. Okay, so. That becomes the grind now. I want to progress the campaign, so that's what we're going to do. We want to get Kale to 40. And honestly, I think that we're going to get stuck and have to farm food when we get to that point. And that's probably when we'll stop the video. I'll show you guys how to rank, how to rank, uh, how to rank up, and uh, we'll come back after the grind. You could three star the missions as you go along, but I want to level food as fast as possible. We, all, we already almost have. We're going to use sniper as food. So we almost already have one. One two star. Uh, fully ranked up or fully leveled up so we can rank them up to three. We'll probably go ahead and summon another 10 mystery shards. Get more food and see if we can get a rare to sacrifice. People will recommend saving, um, saving rares for fusions and stuff. But the way fusions work now is you can pretty much, if you can do the fusion, you can do all the events to get the fusions. So, I think here in the beginning of the game, the goal is to level up and rank up Kale as fast as possible. So, I'm going to be using some of the bad rares that we get to rank up Kale faster. Getting there, almost 30. Almost 30. It's going to be perfect because I think that Sniper will be right at level... Uh, right at level 20 when we are ready to show how to rank stuff up and grind. And we have the boss. Should be no problem. I 
think next ch chapter might be the chapter that we get stuck on. We shall see. The ugly truth, praying the rich, the company known, so are. All right, let's actually go here. And equip Kale with this. Just because these stages are going to get more difficult and Kale still does pretty good damage even with the low artifacts and uh, the low level that he is here. Definitely more effective than just having food. And uh, I think I just want to beat this chapter. And then we're going to go and uh, ascend Kale and stuff like that. Killed Man Eater. He does unkillable. Can, can be a pain in the butt. Sparring pet unlocked. All right, you could take a champion and put it in there to level up automatically. Oh wow, we have all these events that are alive for the fusion. Alright, let's check the progress in our tournament. Okay, nothing good. And uh, we can go ahead and continue progress in the story. leveled up the second Kale here we could beat the second boss here like I said I think we're going to die but that's not very important right now it's going to it's going to be more important to level up your main character or your main Kale and uh, get him to 40 or 4 star It would be nice if we summon some sort of legendary or a really good epic champion to kind of plow through the campaign and uh, show what it, what it would be like for somebody who's actually spending money. Because most likely, people spending money will have already bought a couple of those deals and summoned some, uh, summoned some better things than, than Kale. And even though... A champion might be like really good or whatever you still might want to six star kale first because all the poisons because if you don't have a poisoner kale will cover that role you're gonna want a poisoner for clan boss and you're gonna want a campaign car uh, farmer and kale can cover all three of those roles plus he can also be an arena nuker It's really not fair that the other three starters are not nowhere near as good as Kale, in my opinion. Um, and I do, really do wish that they balanced that out at some point.
Like, it shouldn't feel terrible to pick, like, Gaelic. But it, it, it is. If you pick Gaelic, you're going to be at a serious disadvantage. Um, if you're going against somebody who picked Kale. Like, even in Arena, just just off of free-to-play alone, Kale is just so much better. It's, uh, it's, it's not fair. I hope that they rebalance that in the future. All right, and boss time. Killed him, we would have been good. Yeah, and I don't think Warpriest can solo the boss. Close though, if we can get Kale to survive. Alright, and we got stuck here. So uh, let's go ahead and do some uh, keeps. You, you, you're going to want these potions. Um, there we go. This is how you're going to ascend Kale. And when you ascend Kale, he's going to uh, gain extra stats. And a lot of champions on 3 Ascension, they get a new ability or their ability gets enhanced. So we're, go we're going to go ahead and show what that does for Kale. Uh, this shield here, here, or the Magic Keep, all the starting champions are Magic, so everyone's going to have to do Magic Keep. Uh, that shield here, you're going to have to find a champion when it gets harder that removes that removes buffs. So if you read through skills of a certain champion and it has some sort of a remove buff on it, do not get rid of him. Or it. Um, save it because you might find use of, use of it down the road. Ouch. All right, no problem. I forgot how many potions we need, but we definitely want to get, we definitely want to get Kale to three star ascension. So yeah, I'm kind of just going to go through these potions and uh, get potions from here and from the arcane keep. And when I have enough, I'll show uh, I'll show you guys how uh, how I rank up Kale. Okay, so we went and completed uh, every keep up to stage two and three, so that will become complete all the challenges. And um, all the challenges will get you a little bit extra potions and an ancient shard so we're going to collect that and summon that ancient shard we're also going to open some extra room yeah maiden attacks one enemy yeah she's all right she's just all right Okay, and then doing all those keeps allowed us to progress the tournament because every stage that you complete, you get points. So you can go ahead and collect your brews. And then we can go ahead and show how to rank up or how to ascend Kale. So you go here in the tavern, you go to the ascend tab, and you have the potions. 
uh, and you go ahead and send Kale. Okay, so once you have all of the potions to ascend Kale, go ahead and send them. And uh, now that he is ascended, his skill has an extra 50% uh, chance of inflicting a critical hit. It fills the turn meter of this champion by 25% for each enemy killed. So we upgraded his skill and his stats have increased. And now that he's level 30, it's time to rank him up to 4 star. So we're going to make, need to make three three-star foods. And since we're stuck on this stage, probably going to be best to farm uh, Chapter 4. Uh, we can go ahead and do either the shield stage or the boost stage. I'm going to go ahead and do the shield stage. Uh, I'm just used to doing the shield stage because that's, a, that's the stage that drops. Uh, or the, the shield sell for most silver. So that's just the stage that I'm used to, uh, that I'm used to farming. And uh, what you're going to want to do is take three one stars like so and you're going to want to rank them up to level 10 and then uh, once they're level 10 you're going to feed two one stars to them and they'll become two stars and then we're going to need those two stars to feed into the level 20s to make them three stars okay so we're gonna switch to level two actually because it looks like we can die on stage three and uh we were leveling one stars earlier we're going to go ahead and level two stars now and we need to get these guys to level 20 and pretty much you're going to be doing this until they're level 20 same thing same stage over and over again until they're level 20. So yeah, I'm pretty much going to go ahead and rank up three of them to level 20. And I'm going to rank up six of the other guys to level 10. And uh, when that is done, I will uh, show you guys how to rank them all up. And uh, how to rank up Kale to four star when we're done. Alright, and the first of many grinds is finally done. We have six one star champions at level 10. And three two-star champions at level 20 so now we're going to go ahead and rank all that stuff up and rank up our kale to rank 40 or four star whatever you want to call it mm -hmm. so yeah you pretty much take a level 10 champion you feed it a, a level one one star champion and you get a two star and then you do the same thing with uh, two star champions to make them three star and the same thing with three stars to make them four star and so on. All right, those are done. And now we can take these. And one more. Okay, so now that uh, Kale is four star. We can go ahead and continue pushing the campaign if you want to, but I'm going to go ahead and get him a couple of levels and three star the rest of that campaign, um, or three star the three star as far as I've progressed because that will get us some extra rewards and there's a couple of missions and stuff that I'm also going to be doing. So. From this point on, you're pretty much just going to push the campaign. You're going to get to the same spot that I got here where I was stuck. And you're going to have to rank Kale up to 50. And then you're going to keep pushing the campaign. And you're going to rank up Kale to 60. That's going to be your major That's going to be your major goal for, for the game. Is to get your starter. Unless you pull somebody that's really, really good. To get that starter to 260. So I'm probably going to be doing a couple of... Um, other videos on this account probably something like um making your first arena team progressing through uh, through the arena as free to play and things like that because i won't be spending any money on this account i'm kind of i'm kind of going to show progress i'm kind of going to be showing progress as i go along without spending any money and what and kind of giving advice to free to play players so that way you guys can kind of experience the game through my shoes and see how i tackle the free to play challenges 
Let me know in the comments below if there's anything else you would like me to cover about the free, uh, about the free to play stuff, about how to, uh, how to best start your account, how to best progress your account. I definitely, uh, there's definitely a lot to talk about and I don't want to make this video too long. So I think this is going to do it for today and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.